begin to bless him. Bless him for his faithfulness. Bless him for his faithfulness. Lift your voice and exalt him. Amen. Amen. Now, if you truly have an understanding of the greatness of God's mercy, no one will ask you to open your mouth. Wherever you are, I like your heart to truly bless God. Open your mouth and begin to bless him. Open your mouth and begin to bless him. Open your mouth, bless him, exalt him. Lord, I thank you. My soul, my heart, and everything in me bless you. Come and bless him. Lord, I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. My heart bless you. My soul bless you. All of me bless you. My spirit bless you. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. At such a time in the history of our nation, the Bible speaking saying Israel was without a teaching priest. Israel was without the law. The Bible said there is no peace to him that cometh in and to him that goeth out. Everyone is watching his every step. Now, someone saw the beginning of October and they are not privileged to see the last sun. Righteousness has not kept you. Your goodwill has not preserved you. It pleased the Lord that you are alive. With all of your heart, once again, lift your voice and say thank you for life. Thank him for life. <clears throat> thank him for life. Thank him. Lift your voice and thank him for life. Bless him. <clears throat> I'm grateful, Lord. Jesus, I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. October 20, 2020 is a day we will never forget in the history of a nation. And we stand by the privilege which God has given to us on this exalted altar to say and to declare every perpetrator of evil, everyone who made Tuesday a black one, by the authority of the name Jesus, up to the tenth generation, they shall not know peace. Amen. I like your amen to be very resounding. I stand as one of the privileged elect of God. And I speak everyone who made last week Tuesday a black one. By the authority of the name Jesus. Though they live they will walk and operate as dead men. 
in the name of Jesus. Goodness shall be withholding from their sons. Their daughters shall find their place on the streets. In the name of Jesus. Everyone who is part of it. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone who made a mother weep. Everyone who made home homeless. Everyone. Every perpetrator of evil. Everyone. 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 Everyone who caused such. Everyone who took life. Everyone. By the authority of the name Jesus. The anger of God is in their camp. The anger of God is in the account. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now listen church. When all perpetration of evil is going on, do not be part of it. Do not. Don't be part of the looting. Don't be part of breaking in and break out. Don't. You'll be bringing the curse of the Lord upon you. If they have hidden something called COVID material, it's not your problem. You ate, you fed when they didn't bring it out. By being part of it, you are bringing another cause. You are becoming part. Bringing a cause on you. Don't say it's free food. It's destruction. Are you listening? Don't say, don't be part. You lived, you survived before now. You do not, it's only a proof you do not need government. You do not need the government. They have only proven we are not here for you. It's only for selfish interest and you've been surviving. Are you listening? Do not be, don't even let anybody bring part of their evil proceeds to your house. Be careful. From the first day it was eating, it became a coarse meal. Are you listening to me? From the first, do not be part of it. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can think or imagine. Through his power that worketh in us, both to will or to do. Have you begged somebody for baby milk? No. Just because not me. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Everyone behind this evil. The anger of God is upon them. Amen. Can I hear Lord? Amen. amen. Can I, every leadership toiling with destinies. I speak as a voice of God. Your children's 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 children will eat of it. Amen. The Bible says the curse of the Lord is in the camp of the wicked. Lord, we thank you. For what you are said to do. And Lord for what you will do. Take all the glory Lord. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. And once again we are looking up to you. Show us the way forward. Show us the way forward. And let your name be glorified. Reveal yourself Lord. And perfect who you are. Thank you Jesus. For such a great day. Someone say, Lord, that this is my day. This is my day. Now say, Lord, that this is my day. Again, say, this is my day. Now, I will tell you why it is your day. One, it's your day because you conquered it. It's your day because it couldn't stop you from saying it. Are you following what I'm saying? It's your day because you have the right to do anything with it. End it. So you decide what today produce. You decide what comes out of today. You decide what today delivers. Ah, in the name of Jesus, it will deliver to me the goodness of God. I don't know if somebody feels like saying that. It will deliver to me the best of heaven. It will deliver to me the greatness of God. On every side, it will deliver to me the beauty of Yeshua. In Jesus' 
mightest name we have prayed. The Lord bless you. You may comfortably take your seat. Now, for by a prophet, Israel is saved. And by a prophet, Israel is preserved. The Lord spoke expressly while we were waiting on him for this month. And the word of the Lord came and God Remembered mercy. I told us, if you go back to the first of October message, that early morning, that we have all it takes as a nation to move ahead and to move forward. And that in God's agenda, it never orchestrates there should be a fight between the Christian and the Muslim. And that you should not allow anyone to politicize anything in this nation. And God's word was coming so, you know, wonderful in a direction we might really not have understanding until the Lord began to speak. When the word came expressly in Hosea chapter 3, and the Bible was speaking on the dimension of when God remembered mercy, that's Hosea 2 21. Hallelujah. Habakkuk 3, verse 2, sorry. Habakkuk 3, 2, the message translation. Now, the Bible was giving us the dimension of what God will do. Give me the message translation. Habakkuk 2 and verse 3. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Habakkuk 3 verse 2, rather. Sorry. And his word came expressly. He said, God said, I've heard. What our ancestors say is about you. And I'm stopped in my track. Down on my knee, do among us what you did among them. Something happened that caused our fathers to look up to God. There was a time in the history of our nation that evil was ravaging the land. First Act 77. The dimension of all evil on every side. There was a time also that the witches and wizards thought they could take over the leadership of the nation. The Archbishop Benson and the Oza stood up. That meeting were not old. If you are so strong and powerful as one, appear for a debate. There's a new dawn in our nation and there is no blood lost that is a waste. Because the blood of Abel cried for vengeance and this time the blood of the innocent is fighting. Let our youth receive wisdom. Let our youth receive understanding enough to know that you'll be doing more harm to the spirit of the dead by looting. You'll be saying that their blood is but a waste. They died for you and I. They came out for a cause they believed in. And then you should be wise. God saved you to be an extension of what was started. What was initiated. And so that you and I can be a voice. I was in the heat of that attack on Tuesday. 
we trek from VI to Surulere. You need to have an understanding of what God can do. And at the same time, the understanding of how miserable your life will be outside of God. If not for God. We're standing now because he pleases God. Not because we walk today out. Not because we calculate how today should go or how today should be. We're standing because he pleased him and guess what? God, even if there is a script down, he can decide to erase it. You know, we come to script, um, script writer can come and decide, okay, let's do alterations, then omit some. The way he's seen the direction of the play. Amen. But it please, still please the Lord that today they did not erase you. Every time we <clears throat> carry the consciousness of God, Say, yes, they are destroying homes. Yes, let them destroy the house of the politicians. Hello. They've got nothing to lose. The more destruction you cause, the more harm you bring on yourself. Your consistency will still renew his house. Every allocation coming to your consistency will still go there. You are only bringing back your development by 100 steps. You just brought it backward. Father, we give you praise. Um, speaking briefly on the subject, doing something great with God's mercy. Doing something great with God's mercy. Maybe I'm going to be staying on the mercy translation. I'd like to go back to that reading in Habakkuk 3. And verse 2. I heard what took place in the days of my father. There was something strange that you did in their days. Now, do among us what you did among them. How you save our fathers from the slave masters that eventually they got independent. Now, in another dimension, among ourselves, we're in the hand of the slave masters. Do among us what you did among them. Walk among us as you walk among them. And as you bring judgment, as surely must what you remember mercy. No one is permitted to judge another. God brings the judgment. There's a dimension of grace. It doesn't matter what happened now. It doesn't matter the one that will happen tomorrow. This year, 2020, will end gloriously. Yes, sir. Uh, that shall have whatsoever you say. This year, 2020, will end gloriously. Your amen is not resounding. This year, 2020, will end gloriously. In the course of the last four weeks, my first teaching was mercy is the answer. And I made a profound statement that if you must assess and retain any good thing, you need mercy. Mercy said no to barrenness in my life. It was not speaking in tongue. It was not prayers because I've been praying. It wasn't prayer. It was not the mountain top experience. I've visited mountains. I've stayed and prayed in caves. You, I enter Lika, Bura, Sampekelo, Patu Frata, praying day and night. I fasted, dry fasting, white, anyone you call it. But hello, sir. I got what I wanted because God chose to answer. It's not because of 
how prayerful you are. They say, when she start praying, the pillar starts shaking. The result is not in the shaking. It's just like a footballer. He enters the field. See how he's dribbling everybody. At the end of the day, no go. Nobody will talk about him. But one guy is just there. It's not just wait till the ball comes to him. Pow! Boom! They say, give him the golden boot. Nobody pays you for your running up and down. They pays you and celebrate you for your result. And I'm speaking by the authority of God. The mercy of God will put you on a platform for results. I'm speaking to somebody's life now. The mercy of God will put you on a platform for results. The mercy of God in the mighty name of Jesus, the mercy of God will put you on a platform for results. Lekida bara belo potu zapara kadapa. What you must do that will cause a strange change of story. What you should do that will put you on a platform of testimony. May God give it to you. You may place of your seat. Doing something great with God's mercy. I remember saying to us on the first day. That mercy is a force that gathers and brings us into God's goodness. It is a force that gathers and brings us into God's goodness. It's a force. When you locate it, it begins to push you. It pushes one to his helpers. Mercy. Mercy. It moves the heart, hold on. It moves the heart of men, compelling their heart in your favor. Hello, sir. Mercy forces a stingy man to release what he harbors. Mercy, when mercy comes upon you, is a compelling, is a force. He takes what is rightfully yours from the hands of he who has it not that is not willing to release. Therefore, we say. May God have mercy on a nation. May God have mercy on a nation. May God have mercy on a nation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Doing something great with mercy. What must I do with it? With all of the teachings, with all of the understanding. Number one, give it to everyone that needs it. If mercy must grow, trade it. If mercy must grow on your life, trade it. Give it to everyone that needs it. We saw what Matthew 5, 7 says. He said, blessed are what? Are the merciful. For they shall what? Obtain mercy. Give it to everyone that needs it. Matthew 18, the message translation. Something took place in verse 32. Matthew 18, verse 32. The Bible gave us an understanding of the young man who was indebted to the king. Now, the Bible says this man was owing the king and he came to the king at such a time and says, Sir, I really do not have this thing now, but I can pay later. And so the king showed in mercy. Amen. And then he went on. There come another scene where this same man who was indebted to the king, somebody is indebted to him. He trashed the young man. He plundered the things that he has. You know, And did horrible things, all sorts of things. And look at what the Bible says. The king summoned the man and said, You evil servant, I forgave your entire debt when what? When you beg me for mercy. And look at what happened in verse 33. 
It says, shouldn't you be compelled to be merciful to your fellow servant who ask for mercy? We are crying as a nation for mercy. And some are using it as an opportunity to loot somebody's shop. Hello? There is no way you have taken somebody's sweat that it will be well with you. It's not a cause for whatsoever a man sows. That shall hear it. He who wants mercy, let him sow mercy. Ha! I've been looking for this thing since I didn't have it. What an opportunity to steal it. After all, in the name of riot. Don't! If your brother has been part of it, ask him everything he has taken. Let him take it out. You are not disowning him, but if you refuse, disown him. Because when the cause is coming, even the righteous will eat from it. You should be compelled to be merciful to your fellow servant who ask for mercy. We want the change. We want transformation. Let us start by showing ourselves mercy. You ask yourself, if I should say this thing about Sister A, and the people, everybody gathered and mock her. What will I gain? Sometimes you use your mouth to bring somebody down because you don't like their progress. Now, now most time when you bring people down, it's actually envy. The next time they come to report brother B to you, just know you are going to be the next. So when they are coming, just hey, hey, hold it there. Yeah. Because when I sow the seed of listening, somebody will listen about my own disruption. There's a future ahead of me. Hello, sir. There's a future. Uh, there, there are plenty glorious things I have to do with my time and business. That's what, you can't ask them. You can't come and tell me, hey, sir, this guy just did this. I'll just tell you, hold on. I'll quickly go. He said, come, come. He just said, he's trying to say, so that next time he won't look for me. Yes, Amen. I don't know how to keep audible secret. Don't give room. Yeah. See, I, I've been looking at her. Hello. You should be compared to be merciful to your fellow servant who ask for mercy. Your fellow servant who ask for mercy. Your fellow servant. Some people get angry when some change their air. And you know the woman change air now. Is, so you have to be careful. When you want to marry, see, so they can, something can change for. In the afternoon, it's yellow. <laughs> and the evening. Yeah. Just accept them the way they are. But when it comes to being married, show me that one real one that cannot change. Just as so I know you have plenty changes, but show me that one real one. Let me see if my soul take a delight and comfort in this one real one. <laughs> Let me appreciate your realness, your unique. Uh, 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 yes, like Pastor Femi will say, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Amen. Church, the Lord will bless you. Yeah. Hold on. I have not come among one of such prophets to raise weaklings. I came to raise men, great men with the fear of God. Great men having knowledge and understanding, knowing what to do. Mighty women surviving in business. Great men. Great merchants. And I speak by the authority of the name Jesus. You will emerge as one. God's word is not lying. The Bible says, for by a prophet Israel is saved. Whatever you do with your hands, it will succeed. I'm speaking over you by the authority today. Anyone looking down on you, anyone looking down on you, in a moment and in a short while, God will use you to surprise them. Hey, 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 hey. By the authority of the name Jesus, God, we use you to surprise them. Hey, 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 hey. In the mighty name of 
Jesus in the Elosa, Elosa, who said a thing, and it cometh to pass when the mouth of the Lord has not commanded it. Anyone who is saying something against you to bring you down, to ridicule you, to frustrate your life, I speak now. Their counsel is vanquished. Uh, so may I belong to the top because I'm seated far above principalities and powers. Say, me, I'm not ordinary. Say, I know it and I declare it. Say, me, I'm not a weakling that I will cry because of the challenges and trials. I laugh and I smile in the face of challenges because I am complete in Christ who is the head of all principalities and powers. Please sit down. Give it to everyone that needs it. Number two, what? Doing something great with God's mercy, what to do with it? See it as God's answers always available to you. See it as God's answers always available to you. They might not like my face, but God loves it so much that he showed me mercy. You must see mercy always as God's answers available to you. Oh, no matter what, a thousand shall fall by my right, ten thousand on the other side, it shall not come near me. I've got an answer. Mercy. See it always. See it. The quiet ministration this morning. What an awesome. Please celebrate them, church. They all were in spirit. Highly connected. Everything flowing perfectly well. And celebrate the media for helping them flow. Amen. Uh, because if they are connected in the spirit and the mic is bad and not because mic is not good but because somebody's mind is traveling are you following me imagine if the person on console is focusing and at the same time is having problem with Choma then you can imagine Okay, barats. There will be divisions. But we give glory to God. Hallelujah. Please celebrate them once again for connecting. Amen. Amen. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. Say it always as God's answer. And God remember me. He knew. When we didn't have an understanding what is coming in October, he knew. When he was declaring the month, and God remember me, can't you? Even the declaration sounds somehow. It takes only a man of the spirit to understand. And God remember me, what are we going to teach on such a thing? But God spoke. He said, this is the declaration. And we have nothing but to follow him, rely on him. And then God began to help us from the beginning of the month. Now is the last day of the month. Hello, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do you feel like saying that? You must see it always as God's answer. In other words, when you see it as God's answer, there is no platform you appear that you'll be denied of any good thing. I'm showing you the hidden secret. Now, the Bible was speaking to us in Hosea chapter 2, 
and verses 21, the message translation. Hosea 2, 21. Now, the Bible says, on the very same day, everybody look at this. Why you must see mercy always as God's answer. On the very same day, the very same day, Raymond will make a decision to submit proposal. God says, I will answer. The very same day, the Lord will say, it is time to walk into my own home. God says, I will answer. The very same day, that Jasper will say, I'm stepping into a dimension of property investment. God says, I will answer. The very same day that a wife will say, in this home, I will not lose my rights. I will not lose my children. I will not lose my honor. The Bible said, immediately God says what? The day a young boy will say, now I have seen light. Now things must work. What did he say? He said, I will answer. He said, the very same day. God told me, thou shalt bring my people to the knowledge of truth. And by this truth, they will reign as kings and priests as if the beasts do not exist. I carry an assignment to bring you into God's agenda. And there is no blasted bastard that can stop it. There is no demon that, that you are under the sound of my voice today in any nation of the heart. Again, in the name of Jesus, you will succeed. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. God said, and I quote, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are the thought of good and not of evil. To give you an expected hand. Whatever you came to church with today, as an expectation, believing Yeshua alone to do it, I speak today, receive answers. Receive answers. Receive answers. Receive answers. So, you must see it always to be as God's answer. You must see it always. Fisayo, always. Oh, they just told you that man does not want to see you. He has written you off. In fact, they said that contract is not for you. Uh, where is his office? Move. He said, tell my people to move forward, not going back. Yes. For every time they can say good will, he said, I will answer. Every time they can see result, he said, I will answer. Every time they can see light, he said, I will answer. Every time they can see result, he said, I will answer. What are you seeing? I have seen the completion of IWC. Yes, sir. I've been fighting on my table yes. how to manage fatherhood. Yes. The fathers who will come to pronounce blessings, the strategy Oh, that's okay. You, you, this is what you undo. You, this is what you undo, daddy. You, this is what you undo. It's complete. For where the heart man believes, and where the mouth confession is made known unto salvation. And guess what? In IWC, every one of you is very great. Amen. Operating a dimension of where you are in control. Now listen carefully. Do you want to see the new Nigeria? Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Take over commerce. Take over the economy. Get involved in politics. I will know it. I will support you. There's a generation coming. It's not with mouth. One of the things I told God, bless me, open streams of wealth. I will support sons in politics. I will finance it. Heaven, be at record and is here and now. The only way we can bring the change is to take the power from them. If you are waiting for them to still be in control of the power, nothing will change. No, hello, sir. Nothing will change. The one who has the gun is the only one who controls the trigger. Hello. Join politics is a ministry. You think it's until you start on booming? It's a ministry. You don't know? It's a ministry. Are you listening to me right now? Are you listening to me right now? Wait, IWC. The dimension of the teachings. 
I will push you to it. Who told you you can't be the minister of finance? I want to have the minister of finance. Jasper, yes. go further. Yes. With everything. Spiritual. Hello? We did there. Yeah. Power with money. We did there. Yes, Are you listening to me? Yes, Move. Don't be a weakling. Go and join now. Start from the low level. Yes. Join your local little party. Join everything. Hello? But carry what? The bigger picture to represent Christ. To represent. See, that is how we are going to kick them out. Are you listening to me? Be in control. Be what? In control. Tell me. You are not just a pastor. To sit down 20 years, 50 years of your life, you will still be the pastor and be Anthony General. Are you listening to me? On Sunday, you are in church. The Anthony General is preaching. Are you, are you waking up? You are a senior ambassador to nation. It's a new dimension of what God is showing me now. Wake up. Wake what? Wake up. Wake what? Wake up. Wake what? And you know how it will be so glorious. Life will be so sweet if we have Ed Raymond as Baba Saleh. Our own Jagaba, refined, fully empowered. Come. I just tell him, you know, that young man, Jesus Jagaba, he just come. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> amen. You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages past. And that is why your name is forevermore. That is why your name is forever. You are so good. You are so kind, Almighty oh, God. You are so good. You are so kind, Almighty. Oh, oh, you are so good. You are so kind, Almighty. Oh, oh, you are so good. You are so kind, almighty God. Number three, doing something great with God's mercy. Use mercy to command change. Now that you know that it's not because you are the most holy that God kept your life. Use it to command change. Save others. Stretch your hands always preserving other souls. One of the things I told God, let no one weep before me. And anyone who cry that I come in contact with, let them laugh. I, I, I've told him long, it's a lifestyle. It, it's not what I have to struggle with, it's what I live for. Use mercy to command change. Psalms 52 and verse 8, the message translation. I will show you something strange this morning. Somebody put your right hand on your chest. Say, in the name of Jesus, I will succeed. Say again, in the name of Jesus, I will break forth. Say again, in the name of Jesus, everything will walk with me. So use mercy to command change. Psalm 52 and verse 8. I like everyone to look at this and listen. And the word end means yet again. Yet again, with everything I've passed through, I am an olive tree. Say we number one. With all the troubles, 
with all the challenges, he sees himself as an olive tree. He didn't need a prophet to say why. I wasn't spoken to. I declare myself, I am an olive tree. When everyone was living, when they see that, when they see and say that nothing works, it what they see and say does not yield the result until there is an acceptance. Yes, sir. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. A law is not a law until it is accepted. Amen. And they say, no, we have all said this is a law in our nation. Nothing is permitted to work in your life until you conclude so. Once you say, this is my problem. It's been a recurring thing. It's my problem. Immediately, heaven endorses it as your problem. Ah, in our family, eh, at 42, people must die. It becomes what? An endorsement that you willingly, consciously accept and then empower the devil to lord over it. Oh, there might be some things working contrary in our family, but I have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. I carry a new DNA. By privilege, I still be a Ojo, but I'm not just an ordinary Ojo. Ojo Jesus. Are you following me right now? And I am an olive tree. I see it. You must use mercy to command change. The change you want. The dimension you want. Hello, sir. A time will come in the history of this nation that we will be looking for projects to do. You are not getting what I'm saying? There is so much resources and we are still asking. And when we don't know, we say, no, we budget this money this year. We have budget 3.2 billion trillion dollars. And we must, this is the year is ending. Send it to Togo, send to Texas, send to Eti. Send, just make sure it's the year budget, it must go. Hello, sir. Hello, it must what? go. We did not raise it to a to, uh, to, 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 to siphon or to steal. We have decided it's a year project. And it must go. It must save nations. Come on, we say, come on, forward money now to Iran. Hello? He doesn't have to be a nation that is addressed as whatsoever we call Christ. It is God's nation. Are you listening to me right now? Come on, send money to India. And liberate people. Give money for science. Give money for medicine. we are going to see mercy. Use mercy to command the change we want. If I break through, you break through. We break through. When it becomes that my breakthrough is our breakthrough. When I can say there is something I'm ready to part away. Let my sister grow. Let my brother grow. You must use mercy to command the change. Go back. He said, I am an olive tree growing green. In what? In God's house. Hey! You are not permitted in his house to grow thin. Things must work. Hello, sir. Nothing and no one is permitted to take any life as long as I'm alive. Amen. Under the sound of my voice, no one will Die at their prime age. Amen. Amen. You don't have no one. It's a covenant. I will not bury a youth. No matter even their self mistakes. I will not, there will always be an exception. There will be safety in Zion. I will not mourn a youth. May Saturday. So in a camp, there is no money. At 80, at 90. We will have all. Just imagine how we will be. Imagine when we are witnessing Osita at 85. And then I still walk because I won't use walking stick. I still walk there and to, to do his, um, 
a celebration service. Amen. You know, it might only last for seven minutes. Oh, sit. God bless you. Ha. Huh. Today you are 85. You are blessed. See your destiny. I'm growing green in God's house. A Tracy is growing green. Adetone is enjoying sound. No medical complications. He said, I'm growing green. There's a change that you desire. He said, in God's house, Chidima grows green. In God's house, joy grows green. In God's house, Remonta grows green. The Mitokwe grows green. He said, I trusted in the generous mercy of God. Then and now. That is the reason why I become what? An olive tree. <laughs> I'm showing you my secret. I'm showing you what I found. I'm showing you the dimension. Just follow suit, sir. Hello, worry not at nothing. Because everything is going to work out. It is only in your hand to decide when. 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 The change that we surprise those who look down on you. When do you want to see it? I, I'm not sure. You're sitting, sitting down. When do you want to see it? When do you truly need it? When, when, when do you truly need it? Someone say, Jesus, that change of story that I'm looking for, give it to me now. Come on, open your mouth and declare it. Open your mouth and declare it. Open your mouth and declare it. Come on, declare it. 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 Open your mouth. Jesus, give it to me now. Jesus, give it to me now. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name we have prayed. There will be joy in the morning. There will be joy in the morning. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, child of God. Oh, more. There will be joy in the morning. It's a chapter of grace and glory where all things are working and where everything is speaking. Look at me, focus on the altar. You are now and who live three. And from henceforth, you're growing green in God's house. In case you didn't listen before, you are now an olive tree. You are growing green in God's house. You are now an olive tree for the third time. Amen. You are growing green in God's house Amen. because you trusted in the generous mercy of God. Please sit down. Doing something great with God's mercy. Lastly, you must thank the all merciful. You must thank the all 
merciful. Always. Psalms 145 and verses 8, the message translation. The Bible gave us an understanding of God as the all mercy. It's hallelujah. Psalm 145 and verses 8. 145 verses 8. It say, God is all mercy and grace, not quick to anger, is rich in love. Is rich in love. You must thank him. Anything you trace mercy to, give God is due. Once you know I got this job by his mercy, give him his due in your titan and in offering. Give him his due. Oh, I got this food by God's mercy. Give him his due by sharing with someone who has none. Give God his due intense giving with your offering. Be committed to it. Do not appear before the Lord empty and dead. Never. Never. You are thanking God for his faithfulness. When you come to listen to him, it means you are honoring God. Don't miss services. Don't miss midweek services. Hello, sir. You must thank the all merciful. There was a time of my life it was horrible dreams. Horrible dreams. Horrible dreams. And when revelation came, you are complete in Christ. Who is the head of all principalities and powers? Femi. I was hearing it echoing. You are being circumcised now. Now, 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 now. We circumcised that we're not made with hands. Something has taken place and then he gained access. And since then, if I want to go and they are going to bring dream, I tell them what I want. If you must appear, you have work to do. Pound yeah, pound the arm. Make it very well. If you didn't pound it well, I will make sure in the dreamland you do a serious work. Put bush meat. Eta. Good meat. Put it there. Let there be plenty of entourage. They stop bringing food again. It was the last time. They run back up. Because, you know, you must say what you want at the table. So they refused to come again. So they ask, Lord, why can't you show me a dream? Amen. I think I had a dream last about 20 years ago. Revelation. But before they would change, just woke up. As I wake up like this, it's sickness. And I've not laid my back on any hospital bed. And not now. In the last 20 something years. Why? I found one thing. Thy walls were found. I did eat them. It became the rejoicing of my heart. Infirmity can gain us out. And this is the light following everyone. Coming into the world. Everyone. I found what my parents did not locate for my children. I found words that guide their life. So it's your duty to thank him for everything you know that mercy did. Oh, that I can come to church it's not because uh, I decided last night I will wear a red top and eventually woke up wearing a red top. You've discovered that on the women's side, you discovered that most time, the cloth they brought out last night is not what they came to church with. Just wear this and say, ah, it doesn't look like this. Banji will not like it. As if he's coming to Banji for church. Just drop it like it. Just run down. Ah, if he sees it like this, I'm like, okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. All those times that you are a little bit late, we know it's because she came around. 
then you have plenty thing to may I used to tell my wife from Thursday decide what you want to wear now so let's know which one I didn't say anything I said well Lord you know when my mothers were serving God why come you look on it it don't go but you see the generation now Somebody has decided, let's start doing something with powder. And they make so much money. And then they create an industry out of it. And so women will not sit there that time. Love Findani. You see all the lavenders. Boom! Go. Quick, quick. Amen. But now, to tell you, one is foundation. When is this? My wife was telling me, buy powder. I said, okay. But I'll be giving you money so I buy powder. If I go to buy the powder. So I got there. Bring one, they brought 19,000. Five, five, five. How much did they use to marry my mother? 19,500. Okay. So the best is just quickly come. Hey, you say you need money, have you? Please take this 25. So that by the time you now decide to use 19.5 to buy powder, I'm giving you 25. <laughs> it's not that there is 4.5 at all. No. Amen. That doesn't mean I don't buy powder. Mm. <laughs> Let's say he doesn't buy powder. Praise the Lord. You must thank him that you can even put powder on your face. Lord, I thank you. Some have face. They can't put powder. So if they touch their face like this, boys will come out. Some has irritations. So their face is just natural. And they're beautiful and glorious that way. You must thank him. That you enter the toilet freely. Freely. And you even chat there. Amen. <laughs> glorious. And this is your coming free. You know, you thank God that you are not somebody. Like, mm. Amen. Amen. You know, when you can get so simple, like Pastor uh, Toby said, he said, when you come, you receive the word in simplicity. And that's how life becomes so sweet with God. Get him involved, even in that part. Mm. Get God involved. When he's involved, I tell you, some people cry to pee. Not because they have STD. Well, because there is an evil attack on their head. Are you following me? Mm. You can eat anything. You enter any book, you eat. Some eat, they will land on me. Just... Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, you must give God his due. Are you with me? You must do what? Give God his due. You give him his due. Always. You give him his deal part time. Lord, this is what is yours. Amen. The day 1,200 is too big for God. God will never give you an opportunity to give him 12,000. Say, ah, I just, somebody give me 12,000 now. God take 1,200. Just like that. Okay. This is big. God will never give you an opportunity to have, give him 12,000. Stay at that level. 12,000. 12,000. Big. And God will just, but when it comes with ease, God will say, This one can bring me 12 million. He says, So give him 120. 120 million. When it becomes so easy for you, if you can consciously sit down and make sure you are not robbing God, yes, heaven won't rob you. Amen. Now, we, there, was a, there was a case online. I, I bought a phone and <laughs> you will laugh. With all the tongue and anointing, I was waiting for the phone to be delivered. And the young man packaged a case. You know, I bought a phone, a brand new phone, and packaged a case and shipped to me. Hello? And I sat down me bought a phone. I bought a phone over 1,150 
200 pounds. And you shipped to me. And he carried the shipment with first class. Royal mail. And shipped to me. You know, and we opened it. It was a case. And he wrote it delivered. Amen. With all the tongue speaking, they open, we open a case and the guy won the case. Hey, they've closed case and this money will go along my day. Except I have not served God well. We lose nothing. They say case, case kuwa. Everybody that closed the case is in trouble. You must reopen a new case. And dimension pump, 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 we push further. Because you must not give up. We push further. I sat down about 1.30 a.m. Preparing case. I'm telling you, I prepared case for more than two and a half hours. I opened, went straight online. Not like the way it is in your country. Anyway, you can set up a police report, report and get police to fight instantly online. And people stand up, wake up from their bed. Receiving an alert that somebody needs an attention. Not in the nation where things are not working. And right in there, submit all the old case, investigation going on. And I began to tell them what they could not see from the cases. You, you can't see this. This one. This one. And Lord, thank you. I spoke to the case before I clicked submit. Lord, thank you. Because you are releasing... Your emissaries. He says he has given you the angels as ministering spirits. The greatest actor is an angel. He will go back to the database, revisit anything and push it in your favor. It, it must have gone in your favor before they know. I slept like a baby, woke up in the morning about 8, I was receiving a mail. Case reverse in your favor. Wake up. Money, before three hours after, money fully returned. I said, there is no loss in our camp. Who told you a case has been closed? Stand on your feet. I'm speaking by the authority of the name Jesus now. By the authority of his name, there shall be no losses around you. You have seen the last Sunday of October. You will see the last Sunday of 2020. All through the Ember Mount, there shall be no losses around you. Anyone that wants to stand against your peace, anyone, the Lord will terminate their life. Anyone that wants to frustrate your jaw, the anger of God will come upon them. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord perfect your jaw. The beauty of heaven is upon you. Amen. Somebody tell me, I receive, I receive grace to give God his due. Open your mouth and say it to God. 